What's up, y'all? It's the High Fashion Hippie, and this is Girl What TV. Thank you for tapping in with your friend. Go ahead on and like, comment, and subscribe, and drop down in the comments and get your eagle on, girl. So, yeah, on this first brand new episode of Girl What Are You Wearing, we're going to start it off with this bomb-ass jacket that I saw. Tiff popped up on the scene wearing this jacket. I just immediately knew, like... That is so, like, I'm not even going to think that I thought that it was so bomb. Like, I did, it definitely piqued my interest. Like, dang, where can I, where, where who sells that? Like, basically, that's what my initial thought was. 100%. I was just immediately thinking, like, I wonder where they got that at. And as I started to see Tiff move in it and, you know, like, how plush it was when she sat down in the car... I was just like, this, I, I, I need this. So I put a mental pin in me Googling her jacket, not really even expecting any kind of results. And I probably fell asleep and forgot about it. But like next day, um, I'm on YouTube, of course, and I see on the Vice channel that they have this local legends episode and it's, it's the jacket. It's the blanket jacket that Tiff was wearing. It's the designer, Brenda Akiwa, and her clothing line, Akiwa. Rom as pieces. Everything is just so authentic. Um, being somebody from the West Coast, like, you just know the vibes when you see this blanket. Like, you know how soft it is. But the sweaters, it's, it's, it's even plusher than the blankets, in my opinion. The hoodies. The long coats okay like i ain't touched one and i definitely want this for christmas y'all like when i get this for christmas i'm gonna pop up and make a whole video and a review about it because yeah i might not get the long one because i don't really get that cold like that here but i'm definitely gonna get the bomber length jacket like that is a must it's just so um and basically, like I said, it's so authentic. That's what the designer is basically letting you know the origin and the reason and the flavor that she came with, like how she got it and all that. Like her shit's authentic. I like her. I like the clothing brand. I love this jacket. I love the inspiration behind the jacket. I love that Tiff's character was wearing it because she always kind of gives me a monochromatic, matchy-matchy, crush-on-you video uh, vibe. Like, she's always wearing, like, one full color. Like, you see in the next couple of next coming episode when she's gonna try to get Emmett or tempt Emmett okay um she wearing all white or whatever she had on all blue a couple of episodes prior to wearing the um burgundy on burgundy outfit here with the Akiwa jacket so yeah this is definitely right up Tiff's alley this really authentic to the character style so I love that they had her wearing this um, if you like that I did this, thank you for tapping in and go ahead on and like and comment on the video for me because I really been wanting to put this video out for some time, but it really is hard like with my creativity, the process, like it hasn't really unlocked for me on how I want it to flow and how what you know, like what I want to talk about when I'm talking about these pieces that I'm basically just not gonna go and look up every piece of designer that a character is wearing okay in the episode of anything no just some shit that i might have saw and thought oh that's cute where they get that at so yeah basically girl what are you wearing that could be good that could be a little bit of shade um in this case is definitely good because i'm definitely feeling this coat like i could go on and on and on about everything in it like when she folded up the sweats look y'all i'm gonna have to link the video to the vice um video i might have to link that in the description because when homegirl went into her shop like they was just so plush like it was just like damn i want some of them so yeah it's basically gonna be just things that i'm seeing in the shows that i watch like we got power uh 
coming up next. Like, I don't really get into Kanan too much, but definitely looking forward to Tariq and all the fashions going on up there at the school and with the G-Boys and da 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 Yeah. I'll be covering um, that those fashions, something that I, I like that caught my eye as well. So if you're looking forward to that, go ahead on and um, let me know. <laughs> and other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>